Hello, hello everybody! Welcome to the stream! It's been a while since we last chatted, hasn't it? But anyways, let me go to the just chatting stream. Whoa, what's this everyone? <laughs> wow! Oh, what is this? I'm finally not a stiff PNG anymore. I'm a oh, my voice is kind of low. Oh, sorry. But it should be good now. Thank you for following, Akira. Welcome to the void. Hope you enjoy your stay. Welcome, Observable Chan. Welcome to the void. I hope you enjoy your stay. Thank you for following. But yeah, I'm finally not a stiff PNG. I can bounce now every time I talk, which is great. I just I went and decided to do what is it the um reactive PNG thing, so that's great. So now I can move <laughs> semi, which is kind of better for me as well because with Twitch Studio, I don't have to put in every single PNG. I can just go ahead and go into the reactive PNG thing, and then put all my PNGs in there. So with a click of a button, watch this. Watch this chat. Watch. I am Mega Mind. <laughs> I'm Mega Mind. No waifus. No waifus. I see that you have no waifus. <laughs> but yeah, that's very cool. So, how are y'all doing today? I've been having a great time so far. Mostly been rigging my model. Though it's been a little bit hard, I can at least say I got the eyes and eyebrows completely down. I, s I just realized I'm seeing in Twitch Studio that it says, what is it? Um, my mic is a little bit um, low, so I'm going to bring it up closer so y'all can hear me better. But yeah, I've mostly been rigging my model for the past couple of days, been enjoying myself, and watching some childhood shows. Though, nobody judge me for this. I used to be an ad an uh, avid watcher of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. That show was literally what was in my childhood. I would watch that show all the time. And I realized what is it the show just ended in like 2020 and I never finished it. So I'm going back watching every single My Little Pony Friendship is Magic episode, including the Equestria Girl shorts and whatnot. Well, I rigged my model, which is great. So anyways, we got a few things on the agenda today. Today we'll be playing Starlight Shores, which is a lovely game that was gifted to me for free by the developer themselves, which is amazing. I did stream this game last year in February, but we never completed it, so we're going back to complete it from start to finish. Probably not in this live stream, but I hopefully want to finish this game because when I first played it, it was amazing and I can't wait to show y'all the game. So anyways, let me just try to get the, the game open and we can get on our ways. So yeah, if y'all want a little bit of Megamind, just say it and I would change my PNG to Megamind. <laughs> But anyways, oh, a little another announcement before I open up the game. I will be doing a good amount of streams this week since I finally have the free time for it. So, expect the stream prob most likely tomorrow morning because I like doing morning streams because, well, more, it reaches more people because a lot of people who watches it in other time zones who where when I have my usual streams, they can't really watch it, but... If I have it in the morning, a lot of people can actually watch it more than than when I do it like in the uh, afternoons and evenings. So yeah, expect a lot of streams this week and expect an Easter stream, what is it, on Sunday. Because, oh man, I have some things planned. <laughs> well, speaking of that, let me, let me just go and open the game. And let me change it to my gaming screen. Oh, a head pads! Whoa! Omega oh, B! You really earned up all those points? I, I didn't expect anyone to do the head pads. But here, head pads. Here's the head pads. 
Oh my goodness, it's lagging but head pads. Anyways, let me go and change it to my gaming screen. Wah! Ooh. Okay, let me see if y'all can hear the stuff. Okay, I'm just turning up the music a little bit. So y'all can hear. Is the music good and whatnot? Or is it too loud? I'm just keep it like right here. But anyways. Return. Starlight Shores. Oh man, oh man. Like, I haven't touched this game in so long. The last time I touched it was in February of last year. Over a year, but I wanted to save it for y'all because I really enjoy this game so much. The music's good, a bit quiet, but good. All right, just want to make oh, yeah, it is a bit quiet when I check the thing, but let me just turn it up a little bit. I want to make sure y'all can hear what's in my voice. Let me check again. Is this good? Okay, I think this is good. All right. So let's get to it. Starlight Shores. Woo! Oh my goodness, that alert was so loud. Thank you, Ozzy Rose Thorn. Welcome to the void. Hope you enjoy your stay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And you also redeemed first. And Akira? Redeem first, so you're the first one to redeem first. Now nobody else can, can what is it, redeem it. Anyways, let's go. Is the stream fine? Just want to make sure if everything's fine. And if not, we'll get started. Content warnings. So this is the content warning. So viewer description and advice. Well, let's get into it. Well. Ooh. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. I am a huge fan when it comes to what is it? Beach themed um beach themed games. Like Danganronpa 2. That's beach themed and I love it to pieces. What is it? Starlight Shorts is also beach themed. I love it because it makes me think of summer and summer is like my favorite my favorite time of the year. I know people might say, oh yeah, it's, what is it? Christmas, Christmas, December, woohoo! Snow, mine's a summer. Yes, hot summer, vacations, beaches, all that jazz. I love it. But anyways, let's get started. Setting the mood, woohoo! Whoa! Thank you, official live yeah, for following. Welcome to the void. Hope you enjoy your stay. And those sound alerts are so loud it rings in my ears. But anyways, let's get to it. Setting the mood. Bum, 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 bum. My phone is ringing. I put the call on speakerphone and continue down the road. Hey, I'm almost there. Wait, okay, okay. I know a good amount of y'all haven't seen my last stream, but they, what is it, this game had a major update to where they have a lot of, what is it, a lot of the things are like, what is it, CGs, they have a good amount of CGs now, and this is all new to me, and I am excited, woo! Hey, I'm almost there. Hey ya! I was starting to think that you bailed on me. I might have taken a might ha I might have taken a bit of convincing, but when I say I'll be there, I mean it means I'm going. This man looking like one of those anime playboys. One of the most, like for real, like when you go to like search male anime protagonists, and most of them will have this same exact hair color, the same exact haircut. Not for it to like be mean or anything, but. <laughs> It's really true. Like, go on Google, search up anime male protagonists, and then you'll get the same exact, what is it, hairstyle and color. Or sometimes their hair is more than their face. But yeah. Alec, on the other hand, I'm not sure though. Wait, 
isn't he with you? Nope. First thing this morning, he texted me saying to drive up by myself. When I asked him if I if he was still coming, he said he'll be arriving late. Wait, that wait doesn't that sound like he's canceling? Trust me, that Alec for I'm going to ditch at the last second. He pulled this stunt too many times. Well, if he's not if he's not there, I'll be taking his room at the cottage. I don't hate sharing a room with Lena, but I per but I like the extra privacy. There's no point in leaving the third bedroom empty. Fair enough. So, are you excited? For the meteor shower? Yeah, I guess. It will be cool to spend the night on the beach. No, not the meteor shower. I was talking about meeting Lena. Wait, is it Lana or Lena? I'm assuming that it's Lena. I don't want to get the name wrong at all, but I'm assuming it's Lena. I was talking about Lena. Oh. Lena is Theo Theo's roommate and officially her replacement best friend. Since we went to different colleges, Theo and I have fallen out of touch. We used to spend every day together as kids. She's attending a professional pho photography program while I'm studying journalism. New cities and focusing on classes put a quick end to our evening chats. We only managed to keep up with each other for the first semester. Theo insisted that this weekend would be a fun time to party and reconnect, but I felt hesitant since the start. Maybe a quiet week I'm at home would be nice. I can't wait to meet her. I know you'll love her. She's amazing. You you both have so much in common too. I always felt I always tell her that she's my new will. Uh yeah, I bet. I forgot to ask. How was your night out, birthday boy? Nothing too crazy. Alex bought me a few drinks and we played games at my place. Oh, language, robot language. How are y'all getting all these points? I promise you. Okay. Wow. Beep. System error. System error. Beep beep beep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> beep beep beep. Connection restored. Beep 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 beep. Translating to How are y'all day? And how are you doing on this lovely day? Beep 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 beep. Beep. Connection terminated. Shutting down. I think I remember this card too. <laughs> yeah, it does seem like one of those anime cartoons. But this is Starlight Shores, where we're either be getting waifus or no waifus. No waifus. Yeah, no waifus. Anybody want waifus? Beep is starting to sound like its own language. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, y'all have no waifus? Waifus or no waifus? I'm not sure. Waifus or no waifus? Anyways, let me change it back. Oh my goodness. Anyways. Good. I'm glad you're not hungover. Oh my goodness, I need some water. It's been a while since I voice acted. Be like ostrich n n I've watched before. <laughs> oh my goodness. I need to get some water. We, we haven't even gone that long in my throat. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you. That hiatus, even though it was like, what is it, two weeks? It felt like a whole entire month. Probably because before I announced my hiatus, I had to cancel multiple streams. I don't know. I wasn't just in the group. But I finally am and I'm happy to be back. That hiatus was well deserved. Okay. Done with drinking water. Let's get back. This is going to be the best birthday weekend of your life. 
here's hoping. I still can't believe that Theo won a weekend cottage giveaway and planned a trip on such short notice. I guess I should feel lucky that she invited me before she called me last Monday. We haven't spoken in half a year. What time will you be here? I'll say in the next 20 minutes. I can see the beach from here. Great, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Aww. Aww. You're gonna be getting the waifu stay today, Chad? <laughs> after, the, after the call ends, I sigh and stretch for a moment. I try my best to enjoy the last moments of my quiet drive to the town of Seaside. Yeah, Chad, we're going to Seaside. Woo! Seaside. Sally Shell. Uh, oh my goodness, I cannot do that tongue twister. What is it? Sally sells seashells by the seashore. I forgot the rest of it, but that's the main part that I know. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Okay. Starlight Shores Road. Even the name sounds scenic. Whew. Uh oh, I remember now. Run, run, run road, road Runner from Looney Tunes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My briefing. It sounded like, what is it? The Road Runner from, what is it? Um, Looney Tunes? <laughs> wow. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> I'm just having fun with y'all, chat. It's always pleasant having fun with y'all. Ooh. With my car pa parked on the sandy shoulder of this secluded road, I walk up to the house. This is the place. I take a moment to breathe in the fresh air. I love the scenery in this game. The scenery in this game is just magnifique. It's perfect. It's lovely. It's nice and beautiful and amazing. I can hear the breaking of waves on the shoreline nearby. The beach is right in our backyard. Theo found a real gem. The front door swings open and Theo rushes down the laneway. She must have been watching me by the front window. Ah, oh, there's Theo! Main girl! Main girl! There's Theo! Will! Oh, I love this image! Ah, ah this is too cute! Theo wraps her arms around me in a, in a warm hug. I've missed her. I should have tried harder to keep in touch. I hug her back and smile. Oh, now that's just wholesome! Oh. You made it! I'm not that bad with directions. Have you gotten shorter since I last saw you? She steps back and giggles. As if you're freakishly tall. Hey, I'm working on my self-esteem. And I'm here to ruin it. What else did you expect? I didn't think you'll still be such a bully. Why does he have such an evil smug why does he have such an evil smug on his face? Smug face. Hmm. But chat, I gotta ask y'all a question. Waifus or no waifus? Ooh, I can't. Ooh, let me go and... What is it? Yeah, okay, it changed. I thought it didn't, but waifus or no waifus? Waifus or no waifus, do you got some waifu? Yeah, but I'm trying to fetch the gift here, sub, but it won't let me buy. Oh, that's alright. It's alright. I'm a fresh little chick for Pele, so no waifus. <laughs> got any waifus, chat? <laughs> oh my goodness, I love that button. I can just click it with the easy click. No waifus? Waifus. <laughs> Oh, I'm just having the time of my life. Only losers like you. I know Theo, Theo is only like this towards her close friends that, that understand she likes to joke around. 
Speaking of losers like me, where's this Liana? Is it? I forgot what I called her the first time. Liana, Lena. Oh my goodness. Speaking of losers like me, where's this Lena I'm supposed to meet? Didn't you say we're practically the same person? I did, didn't I? She's down right. She's downtown right now, doing a bit of wondering. Last time she texted me, she was waiting at a coffee shop. I said I'll meet up with her after you arrive, but I have some shopping to do first. Do you want to keep Leon? Oh, I'm just gonna call her Lena. Oh, thanks for the stretch. Ooh, I really need this. Yeah! Ooh, stretch it. Stretch it like an ostrich. Woo! Woo! I really need that. It's always good to stretch. It's always good to stretch, chat. You always need to stretch because stretching can be very good. Oh, and thank you for the water, Regime Omega B. Let me just get the water. Thank y'all for looking out for me. You gotta have that nice water when you're doing voice acting. Sure, I like to get some coffee anyway. Perfect. I'll let her know you're on your you're on your way. Oh, you really need a massage? Well, hopefully this virtual massage will be able to help. Manifesting virtual massage. Pew 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 pew. pew. Boom. There. Wait, you mean right now? Shouldn't I unpack first? You'll have plenty of time for that later. Go meet Lena first. I'm just calling her Lena. I'm just calling her Lena for now on. Fine, I'll go. Will you recognize Lena if you see her? Although I never met her, I know Lena has a unique style. I've seen photos of Theo and her together on Friend X. They seem close. Yeah, I've seen enough photos online. Okay, just keep in mind that her hair isn't pink anymore. What color is it now? Blue, and it's vibrant too. She just had it done this week. All right, which coffee shop is she at? Josie's, it's, it's on the far end of town. Ah, that's fine, I know how to get there. I won't be too long. I just want to get some drinks and snacks for tonight. Do you have any requests? Um, yeah, sure. Marshmallows or hot dogs? But shouldn't we already have marshmallows? I'm choosing hot dogs. Because, ah, uh, this is hard. Hot dogs or marshmallows? Oh my goodness. Well, I like hot dogs because the hot dogs, they're hot dogs. They're literally a meal. Unless you're telling me we're literally not eating anything but, what is it? Marshmallows, but... I'm gonna choose hot dogs, cause that feels right. Hot dogs would be nice. Not a real bon- It's not a real bonfire without them. That's exactly what Lena asked for. See what I mean? You're a lot alike. Huh? That's cool. Put two buns and ketchup. Yep. Get your hot dog, get your buns, and then your ketchup, relish, and mustard if you want. Personally, I'm not a fan of mustard on my hot dog, but y'all do you. Not a total com. Not not a total. Ugh. Whoop. Ugh. Words. 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 Not a total coincidence though. I will say most people have had their fair share of hot dogs around the bonfire. True enough, but it's not the last thing you two will agree on. Why is she pushing this Lena and I being a like thing? What's with her what's her motive here? I'll meet up with you and Lena soon. Oh, could you order an iced tea for me? Got it. An iced tea. Drive safe. I will. Bye. Theo gets in her car and drives away. Why does she want me to order her an iced tea when she'll be meeting us there anyway? Hmm. I don't think she's meeting us, Chad. I think she's trying to 
was it put me and Le Lena together for some reason. So yeah, I don't really think, I think, what is it? I think Theo's up to something. Up to something real shady, I think. I guess I'll see the cottage and settle in when I get back. Alec is, Alec still isn't here. Always showing up late. Alec, Alec, Alec. Wow, can't believe it. The main road through downtown Seaside is simple enough to navigate. Once I spot the the uh, Josie sign, I park my car and take a moment to stretch my legs. My back is getting stiff from sitting most of the day. I find myself uh, wincing as I bend over to make sure my doors are locked. I can't believe parking is free around here. Well, this is Josie's. I better go look for Lena inside. The doorbell rings as I enter the cafe. I quickly stand, scan the shop, searching for blue hair. I feel someone lightly tap my tap on my shoulder. Oh, who could it be? Who could it be? Could it be Lena? There she is! It's Lena! There's no mistaking that face. Mother, her hair is shorter than I expected. That's undoubtedly Lena. Hey there, I'm guessing you're Will? That's me, and you must be- and that must mean you're Lena. It's nice to finally meet you. I hope you don't mind, but I already ordered for you. They all mentioned that you wanted a drink. Oh wow, uh, thanks. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I love this CG! Oh gosh, you forgot to eat? Well, make sure you go and eat something. It's always good to eat. Thank you for the water redeem. Let me go get my water. Well, this is so wholesome. I love this game. This game is so wholesome and nice. Anyway, we're back. Lena hands over a warm to go cup with a white lid. I hope it's nothing too sweet. Slowly, I raise the drink to my lips. You can't, you can stop acting so worried. It's just a regular coffee. I drink it as, and I promise it's a normal coffee. Nothing special. I'll make this water redeem, you'll get- I'll make this water redeem, you'll get some- No! No! It used to be, what is it? The water redeem used to be like, what is it, um, 50 points? And then, I raised it up to 100 because people kept on spamming it. And I realized that now, when you join the- what is it? The, um, when you join the- when you start following, you get 300 points! And now I know why people were spamming me because you get 300 points every time you follow. And man, oh man, it was something. Water is great. Yeah, water is great, but I do not want to get stuffed to the core. Thanks for warning me. I didn't know if you ordered me a mocha frappe latte chino. Uh huh. I don't mind especially drink now and then, but good old fashioned milk and sugar works for me. I find myself grinning. Lena is easy enough to talk to. How was your how was your drive to Seaside? It was fine. I didn't hit any traffic leaving the city. You're talking about you're talking about traffic? Come on, Will. Think of something more interesting. Get to know Lena or talk about Theo. Hmm, I don't want to talk about Theo because what is it? Theo was the one who seemed obviously a little bit suspicious, so I'm gonna get to know Lena. So, what are you going to, so what are you going to, uh, so what are you going to, 
Ugh. I keep on messing this up. Accumulating points isn't that hard. All you gotta do is just sit in the chat. And it goes faster if you sub if you're subbed. Oh uh, yeah. I forgot about like what is it when you're subbed? The more like you say in the stream, the more points doubled. No water left. BRB drive to school. All right, that's fine. So what are you going to school for? I'm studying sonogra sonography. Oh, we're gonna type. Probably said that wrong. I like to be an ultrasound technician. What about you? Journalism. That's interesting. What do you like to write about? Well, I would have studied creative writing if it had m more career options after graduation. I enjoy writing short stories in my free time. What genre? Uh, it's a bit embarrassing for me to talk about. Please don't be. I promise I'm not here to judge. I'm a total bookworm and I love short stories. Whoa. I like to write horror stories, mostly about haunted houses. Seriously? 1.2 multiplier for tier 1, 1.4x for tier 2, and 2x for tier 3. Ah, that's great. That's great to know. Mm, well, you, like I always say, you learn something new every day, which is great. Yes. That's my favorite genre. Sorry, I didn't mean to be so loud. It's no big deal. Can we backtrack for a moment? You're a fan of paranormal stories. Not trying to make, or not just trying to make me feel better? I don't tend to broadcast this to people I've just met, but I'm upset with anything paranormal, especially poltergeist and folklore. Historical ghost stories are my favorite. Do you ever do you ever share your stories? I love to read one. I usually keep them to myself, but Ah, oh, there's Theo. Hey guys! Oh my goodness, I'm gonna try my best to define both of their voices. <clears throat> hey Theo. How did your shopping go? It was fine. I'm s but I'm sorry that took me so long. No worries. We could have talked all day. That's great. My phone interrupts the conversation. Who's calling? Is it? Oh, it's Alec. It's Alec. Well, he interrupted our nice, lovely conversation because he's late. Sorry, I got to take this call. It's Alec. Oh, good. I was wondering about him. I step aside and answer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No. Hello. Hey, Will. I mean, you know, I'm going to try to do a different voice. <clears throat> my best impression. Hey, Will. How's it going? Oh, my goodness. That sounds terrible. <laughs> I I want to do, like, what is it? A Nagi to a voice for him. Hey, Will. How's it going? But, uh, it's been so long. I think I lost my touch. Fine, how are you? Aunt fine, and you? I'm good, thanks. So, I have a quick question for you. It's about the cottage. Don't tell me that you got lost. No, no, it's nothing like that. I was just wondering, how big is the bed in my room? You want to know what size your bed is? Yeah, I'm curious. Give me a second. Wait, give me a second. I motioned Theo towards me. Sorry to bug you, but do you know how big the bed is in Alex's room? It's a queen. Great, that's all I need to know. Hey, Alec. Theo says it's a queen. Will that suit your needs, princess? That works for us. Us? Yeah, I figured the more the merrier, you know. You didn't think to ask our host before you invited someone along? Come on, Theo's chill. She knows me, she won't mind. Alec is bold and rude as heck. Who's coming with you? Remember, 
Oh, no. <clears throat> I forgot to switch between the voices sometimes. Remember that girl I went out with last week? No. Her name is Erica. She's the one I took to the arcade. I bra I bragged about our second date a lot. In all fairness to Alan, he probably didn't he probably did mention her. I guess so not whenever he talks for too long. Alec usually Alec wouldn't usually be so rude and invite someone without asking. This random invitation is hard. Okay then, if you won't ask, I will. You can't just bring along surprise guests. Good thing I'm only halfway there. Tell me if I need to turn around. Alec probably has me on speakerphone right now. I hope that Erica is hearing everything. Maybe she'll ditch Alec. I wave after Theo again. Sorry to interrupt. I'll get to the point. Alec invited some random girl along. That's why he's fishing for her the bedsides. Her name is Erica. If she's the only one I'm thinking of, if she's the one I'm thinking of, she went to she went to school with us. R really? I think I remember her. She's a year younger than us. Isn't she kind of dramatic? I honestly don't know. I hardly remember her. You don't have to accommodate. You don't have to accommodate them. There's no pressure. I can tell Alec to turn around. No. Don't. It's a party and we have the room. I don't want to exclude anyone. We might as well let them stay. Are you sure? Yes. You can tell Alec that he got an okay from me. I need some more water. Good to drink water every now and then. Hey, Alec, did you catch that? Yep. You're walking on eggshell. Oh, look, this is Alec. You're walking on eggshells because you're putting the moves on Theo. What the? We'll be there soon. Alec hangs up abruptly. What's his freaking problem? Hey, is everything okay? I'm fine. I'm not sure that I should have passed. I'm I'm fine. Just not sure that I should have passed on your invitation to Alec last week. Please don't let it bug you. I want to have fun. I want to have a fun time tonight. That's the last thing I the last thing I wanted for Theo to feel upset about this. I did not put her on the spot there. She's too nice. She would have said yes to Alex bringing a dozen unannounced guests. Theo's not the kind to turn anyone down. Alex knew it too. That's why he snuck Erica in the last in the last possible moment. I can't let Theo get anxious over this. Hey, don't worry, okay? We're going to a party under the stars on a beautiful beach. It'll be a fun it'll be a fun night. I can't wait to watch a meet to watch the meteor shower. Same here. We'll better get going. I'd like to set up on the beach for I like to set up I like to set up on the beach before dark. Oh, did you give me that drink? I returned Theo stare. Empty handed aside from the coffee that Lena brought, bought for me. Sorry, that was a dumb question. We'll meet you at the cottage. Can you wait a minute? I'll make an order to go. No, it's fine. Theo heads for the door. Lena? Theo looks back at Lena, waiting for her to leave. If it's okay with you, I think I'm going to catch a ride with Will. Oh, that's fine. Do you mind, Will? This is a tough one. What should I say? Uh, Theo, no! Not Lena. Theo! No, uh, uh, this is hard. Mm, I think I'm going to drive with Lena. Even though, since I'll be a little bit late, so I'm going to drive with Lena. 
But I don't want Leo Theo to go alone, but I'm a drive with Lena. Well No, I don't mind at all. Theo leaves without another word. I think I made the wrong choice and I forgot to save. Whoops. Sorry about that. I hope you don't mind me doing that. It's just... Theo was definitely about to quiz me. Quiz you? About what? Isn't it obvious? He was going to ask me about you. What would you have said? I want to know this. So, what would you have said? Well, that depends on what she would have asked about. Let's assume she asked, she asked what, what, uh, let's assume she asked what your first impression was. I would have told her he's cute. Cute? That's a first. <gasps> no waifus? You get no waifus? No waifus? You get no waifus? Ah. Oh my goodness. You got no waifus. My mans have no waifus at all. Probably haven't stepped foot in front of a woman in, what is it, a year? Wow. A first? Wow. Man got no waifus. Now, let's assume Theo asks what you think of me. What's your first impression? I'll say... She has a great taste. Taste? In coffee. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that. I guess you technically... I guess you didn't technically avoid Theo's quiz. Turns out that... Turns out that I didn't mind. Oh, what do you think of the cottage? I haven't settled in yet. My bags are still in the car. You'll need to... You'll need the grand tour then. Though... Please be dangerous and bummer tongues. Dating is dangerous for no reason. Yeah, I know, cause it's pandemic still. So it is at these times right now, but I'm guessing where this game takes place is no pandemic. But still, man, still haven't touched a lady in like, what is it, years. Anyways, let me change it back. Back to a little me. Got enough of no waifus me. We should probably get going. I like to help the elk get the bonfire started on the beach before it's dark. That's a good idea. Alec will be arriving soon too. I don't want the elk to be trapped with him and Erica. Let's head out. New CG or nah? Oh, uh, no, no new CG, but it's still good. As I approach the landway, I spot Alex's car. He's standing outside with whom I assume is Erica, unloading several bags from his trunk. I park my car and walk down the laneway. Hi, I'm Erica. I'm Alex's girlfriend. This is the Erica I remember from high school. She looked familiar, though I can't say I've ever spoken to her before. She was in the year below mine, so I probably didn't see her too often. I guess I don't really need an introduction. We took environmental studies together during your senior year. We did? You don't remember me? Not really. Whatever. Erica marched back towards Alex's car in the hub kicking up a dusty trail behind her with each step. Whoa, that's a drama queen if I've ever seen one. Hey. Thanks for the warm welcome. Thanks for the surprise guests. I'm going to unpack. Can we call it truth when I'm, when I'm finished? I just want to have fun tonight. I pause and take a moment to consider Alex's request. Theo didn't want me to be bothered by this last minute invitation. I should leave it be. Sure, that's all I want to. Could you ask Erica to give me a second chance to say hello? I wouldn't worry if I were you. 
She's not the kind to hold a grudge. It, I'll be a while. She bought three bags. Erica knows we're only here for the weekend, right? Yep, I guess she likes to be prepared. Oh, well then. Have fun, Pat. Uh, have fun unpacking. Thanks. I'm sure it'll be a great time. I just taking a moment to relax to this nice and beautiful music. It's so calming. Alec follows Irika uh, into the house, doing his best to juggle their luggage. How about I start settling in too? I like to take a shower before the party starts. My back is still pretty sore. You're a real charmer. I see you already hit off with that Erica girl. Ready to check out your huge room? You got the best one by far. Show me the way. Ooh, this looks pretty. Pretty nice place. Ooh. I would like to be in a place like this. For like, what is it? Um, a vacation trip because it looks real nice. And look. The beach is right outside your window, so that's nice. Mm. Need a little bit more water. Well, this is it. What do you think? I think this room is comfy. I know, right? The bed is huge. I'm jealous. Won't you feel lonely sleeping in it all by yourself? Lena freezes. I don't know what to say. We stare at each other uncomfortably. Yeah, that's a little weird, Lena. We just met. That came out wrong. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> that sounded a bit suggestive. Yeah, it did, Lena. It did, we just met, not that long ago. Like, what is it? Five minutes ago we just met? <laughs> no. Shut up. I know it. what it sounded like. Sorry, I couldn't help but laugh. I can't blame you, I would've too. Truth is, I wish I could've snagged this room. Theo picked the perfect place. She didn't, she didn't get to pick it though. She won a giveaway. Right, sorry. I meant that she picked the perfect time to, tr to enter a draw. By the way, the Mr. Master Bedroom, you're the only one, who, one with an in suite. You're super lucky. That's kind of perfect. I've been wanting to take a shower. I'm letting, I'm letting you know right now. If you need to pee in the middle of the night and someone is hogging the shared bathroom, I'll be marching straight in here and stealing your fancy one. Noted. But you can only borrow it. No stealing, please. It's a deal. I'll leave it to you. I'll leave you to it. The sun is setting fast, so I better get that fire going. See you soon. I hop in the shower and take a moment to relax. I need a stretch. But it's so nice. Oh, streams are going on for 54 minutes. That's nice. It only felt like, what is it? It only felt like 20 minutes. But apparently it's been going on for a good while. The warm water soothes the stiffness in my back from the long drive. Feeling refreshed, I dry off and get dressed. I take my time unpacking and lay on the bed for a few moments once I'm finished. I guess I should head to the beach. Ooh, the scenery is so cool. I love the background so much. In the distance, I can see that Theo and Lena are crouched close to the fire, feeding it 
the feeding is the first big loss. They must have had gone had it going for a while now. Eric and Erica and Alec are cuddled up nearby, watching as Theo and Lena settle in their own spots. Hey guys, how's it going? Great, come sit with us. Oh my goodness, I dropped the mic. No. Yeah, we'll make room. Theo shuffles over and pats the open spot. I take a seat between Theo and Lena on the driftwood log. Can I get you a drink? Sure, that would be nice. What would you like? I brought coolers! Oh, come on, beer is so much better. <laughs> I have extras, you can drink mine. I'm not sure what to drink. Beer isn't my thing. I always feel gross after drinking it. Got some nice good Coca-Cola. That's all you need. You got your Coca-Cola, you got your Sprite, you got your Fanta, and you got your other stuff. I don't have a lot of options here. It's my own fault for not bringing anything. What should I drink? Coolers! I'll have coolers. Good choice. Let's play a drinking game. Oh, oh no, no, no! I went back! Whoops! 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 Oh my goodness, no! I went back! I'm just choosing the same thing. Oh my goodness. Uh, did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. That's so stupid. I hate those stupid games. Anyways, we're here to watch the meteor shower. Why can't we do both? They're not fun. If you hate it that much, you don't have to play. It's a group activity. Let's take a vote on it. That seems fair to me. A vote seems fine. Alright then. All in favor of the drinking game? Everyone raises their hand except Lena. Fine. How about never have I ever? That one is tolerable. I'll go first. Oh, and I'm calling a no-takers penalty. A what? If you say never have I ever and nobody drinks, you have to finish your drink. That makes it a bit more strategic. Count me in. Are you trying to avoid drinking? I don't want to be wasted in an act of swabby, but that doesn't mean that Will can't be. Huh? Don't worry about it. Wait a minute, huh? I'm just a simple male protagonist. Um. No. Please. Whatever. Never have I ever. Never have I ever kissed a girl. I know this dude's gonna say no. I know he is going to say no. I'm 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 guessing this. Everyone becomes still. The crashing of waves roar louder as the fire crackles in the night. Alec drinks silently, and I follow his lead, quietly waiting for someone else to make a move. Oh. Okay. Ah, freaking. Lena drinks, clearly annoyed with Erica. Ooh. Cut it out, Erica. Oh man, so you t the, the, the protagonist. Oh, he did get waifus. Oh. Okay. Cut it out, Erica. Theo shoots Erica a stern grin. Doesn't that mean you should be drinking too? You two are so close. Are you freaking serious? Just leave it be. It's my turn now. Hmm. Never have I ever creep on someone I just met on social media. Nangit guilty. 
In my defense, he was clearly he was definitely in a relationship when he gave me his number. I dodged a bullet there. Do we know him? No, I met him on vacation in Port Mont. Well, Alec got me to. Who did you creep? Do I have to say? This game gets some good stories going. Participate. Okay, fine. I creeped Erica's friend next page when you said you were be you'll be bringing her tonight. Really? That's so cute. I didn't think it was possible to inflate her ego more. Is it cute? Huh? Weren't you creeping everyone on social media before we got here? Wow, you were right, Alec. Participation really is fun. Don't be upset, Erica. We all do it, right? I don't. You never creeped someone's profile? I don't even have a friend. I don't even have the Friendex app on my phone anymore. Not even once? Nope. Uh, as if. How could you let anyone go a minute without hearing how perfect you are? I call. I call crap. Call it whatever you want, honey. Don't I don't worry about uh I don't worry about what you have to say. Erica stays quiet and glares at Luna. I drink along with Erica and Theo. Alright, I'll go next. Never have I ever lost my swimwear. Alex bursts into laughter and pokes at Erica's arm. She got you. <laughs> yep. I was playing volleyball with Alec and a few friends. My bikini top came undone. I didn't even notice right away. I, I was working at the time. They didn't tell me right away either. We were a bit speechless. Erica elbows Alec playfully. At least I scored. Well, while they're distracted, Leo Theo leans in and whispers in my ear. Of course, she'd be the one to lose her talk. Nina chuckled, hovering over her Theo's comment. Covering my face with my hand, I whisper back carefully. You got me too. I lost my shirt for one apple's water skiing. Before Erica and Alex are done with their distracted flirting, I take a quick sip. Nina winks at me. I think it's your turn now. Hmm, give me a moment. Never have I cheated. Never have I shoplifted. Mm. Which one stays up drama? But I'm gonna save. Oh, I still have all my previous saves. Oh, wow. We're just gonna save the new one on slot two. Didn't know that it saved all my stuff. Wait, imagine being out here with no survival tools at all. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> never have I cheated, never have I shoplifted. Hmm. I'm a dude, never have. I've never cheated or I never shoplifted. Here. Never have I ever cheated on someone. I'm guess. I guess I'm finishing my drink. No, dang it. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. You know what? Let's go to saves. No, I want to load my save. What is it? Load. Oh, nope. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, oh goodness. The game crashed. No. Oh my goodness. The game crashed. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Why is, what is it? Stuff always like happens. Like the last time I played this game, I accidentally flipped the stuff at, upside down and everything broke. Like stuff is always breaking or crashing, but <laughs> it's all in fun. I'm able to reload the game. But yeah, it crashed and it's now getting reloaded again. Wow. Bum, 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 bum,
bum 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 ba da da ba da Okay, the game reload. You know, good technician. <laughs> uh, well, that technician is definitely isn't me. But anyways, here's the new file. Never have I ever... Never have I ever shoplifted. This seems like a more fun one. Never have I ever shoplifted. I stole a balloon from a pharmacy when I was four years old. I guess I'm the criminal here. How scandalous. Erica drinks. I don't regret it at all. It had a unicorn on it. That sounds worth it. Agree. Thea also takes a step. I stole a chocolate bar when I was six. I knew better, but I did it anyway. My mom made me apologize and write a letter to the manager. Are you allowed in that store anymore? I worked there during the summer when I was in high school. You stole from Ted? He remembered who I was too. He always made jokes that I wasn't allowed to restock the candy. That's terrible. It's finally my turn. I'm going to think of a good one. Never have I ever had a jello charm. That's another drink for me. They're my favorite. I've had them too. Same here. Everyone drinks except for Lena. You're, you're not missing out. You're not missing out another day in a, another day in your life. I'll be right back. I have some jello shots in the fridge at the cottage. Okay, thanks, Erica. Anytime. Be be back soon. These are some weird and random questions to ask. Yeah, they really are very, very random. Erica dashes off into the darkness. I need a bathroom break. Anyone else going to the cottage for a moment? I like to grab a snack while we're there. I'm staying. Someone has to mind the fire. Lena, can you bring a bag of marshmallows, please? I forgot that I'm on the kitchen counter. Yes, yeah, so it was a good idea asking for hot dogs because we wouldn't have anything to eat. We would have just been eating marshmallows. Sure thing. See you in a bit. Thanks. See you soon. I look at Lena head back to the cottage, leaving me alone with Theo. Theo smiles at me. You know, I was hoping we'd get a chance to chat tonight. I was hoping for the same thing. You were? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I'm too dumb to think before I speak. I... I as I struggle with what to say next, Theo senses my unease. N never mind. I shouldn't have asked. It was weird, right? N no, I... I've missed our talk. Feels like we never see each other anymore. But as soon as you're here, I swear it's like a minute. Swear it's like a minute hasn't gone by. You've gotta you gotta get out of my head. I don't know how you do that every time we talk. You steal my words before I could say them. I guess it's a friend thing? No, it's a best friend thing. I can't do that with Alec. The L blushes. Best friends, huh? I guess that officially makes Lena a best friend. She reads my mind every day. I'm glad you found someone that you're close to. It's tough to live without them. Oh, wrong way. Ugh. I keep on like, when you like click the scroll wheel, it goes back, and I don't mean to do that at all. It's tough to live without that. You're right. It's hard to be apart when you're used to having someone like that in your life. That's why I wanted to spend this weekend together. I feel like we're falling out of touch. I... Ooh. I don't want to lose this connection. Same. This is all too freaking adorable. The Theo? I'm sorry that I didn't call more. You'll never lose me. Hug Theo. I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna 
to save. I'm sorry that I didn't call more. Or you'll never lose me. Hug Theo. Hug. Hugs. I lean my head against Theo's shoulder as I gently wrap my arm around her waist. She relaxes and nestles against me. We sit together, listening to the crackle of flames and waves lapping on the shoreline. A faint earthy scent of the glistening floats in the air. Theo still uses the same shampoo. I almost forgot what it smelled like. I feel Theo grip my sweater as she presses herself against me. Hurry number four. You must be cold, huh? What's up? Nothing. Don't worry. I leave her be and enjoy the moment. Ooh! Oh, it's Eric again. What brings you back here, Erica? Am I interrupting? Theo stiffens, clearly uncomfortable with the arrival of an audience. I sit up and let my arm fall to my side. What do you want? Easy there, Mr. Serious. It's time for jello shots. Oh, it's Erica. It's always Erica. Oh, fine. I forgot that's why this, that was the reason why you left. It, it was nice. Just was it me and what is it? Theo? Now you're back. Erica forces her way into the space between us, wrapping her arms around Theo while simultaneously nudging me away. Dang! Dang! She's rude. Come on, Theo. I brought one for you. Erica waves towards Alex, who carries a plate over and offers Theo a jello treat. You'll make a good servant. Now, give me. Erica, are you sure you want another one? Yes! Theo and I are doing shots together. But we just did shots. You did three with Lena before that. I don't need a babysitter, Alec. Mm hmm. Alec realizes the hands to play to Erica. Don't ask me to hold your hair back when you get sick. I brought a hair tie for a reason, Alec. I don't need your help. I can't help but chuckle at Erica's response. I'm glad you came prepared. Thanks. Come on, girl. Cheers. Theo tops her little cup against Erica's. Cheers. Wait. Leanna appears from the darkness, out of breath. She must have run, run down from the cottage. Nina stumbles for a moment as she reaches the group but catches herself quickly. I want another shot too. Nina, are you drunk? Oh my goodness. I need to stretch. Stretching is good for the- I dropped my mic. Wow, great. I think after what is it? Few more minutes, we're gonna go to be right back stream so I can try to regroup because I am I am tired. But I am really enjoying this game so far. No. How could I get drunk that quickly? Jeez, Theo. And why would it why and uh, what would matter if I was? Nina snatches up a cup from the plate. Erica has the right idea. We're gonna ha we're gonna have fun tonight. Maybe you should take it slow. You don't want to miss out on the meteor shot. I won't. It's time for shots, Theo. Now. Oh, this CG is great. Lena enthusiastically taps her cup against Theo's and Erica's. Lena and Erica quickly down their jello shots. Theo follows their lead reluctantly. Do you want one, Will? No, wait. Save them for the next game. Another game? Of course, I call it truth, dare, or drink. Oh my goodness. There's a drink option? It's like regular Troop or Dare, with a twist. You choose Troop or Dare as usual, but if you don't want to answer the questions or do the dare, you take a shot instead. You can choose to be brave tonight, or drunk. 
This girl is a special brand of evil. I need this kind of energy at parties. Aw, thank you. That sounds fun and all, but I feel like we're going to miss the best of the shooting stars. I don't want to look up at the night sky if my world feel like it's spinning out of control. Funny how you use the word control. Feels like you're going, it feels like you're trying to force everyone to do what you want. No, I didn't mean it like that. I just don't want us to miss. We get it. We'll stare at the sky at some point tonight. Can we just have fun now? Yes, yeah, sorry. Dang, she is rude. She is rude. Do something, protagonist. That was so aggressive of Erica. She's way out of line. I feel like I might be too late. Should I interject? Yes. Yes, you do. Yes, you should. Say something. Are you seriously lecturing Theo about being controlling? Excuse me? You heard me. All you've done tonight is push everyone to play the drinking games that you came up with. Yeah, you came up with. When shots were mentioned, suddenly Nia and Theo had to drink because you wanted them to. You weren't even invited here, but Theo was so nice to host this and you t and let you tag along. Stop it, Will. If I wanted someone to stick up for me, I would have said something. This is supposed to be a fun night. Just leave it be. Hear that, Will? She wants you to shut up. No! Neither of you gets to speak for me. I want both of you to stop, right now. Lena? Yeah? Did you bring the marshmallow from the college cottage like I asked? No. I didn't think so. I'm going to the cottage for marshmallow. When I get back, we're going to have snacks and play the Erica game. No more fighting. This isn't going to happen either. Everyone needs to cool down or leave the beach. Well, still think that Erica was in the wrong, but alright. The circle falls silent. Each of us stunned to hear Theo be so direct. I'm glad to see we're all in agreement. Anyone coming with me? I need to be. Alright. I'm coming too. I need to get something stronger. You have hard liquor? Don't think you're getting any. Okay. I didn't ask. Is Alec actually upset that I spoke out against Erica? She would be in way too cushy with Theo. I stand by it. I'll stay and watch the fire. I'm staying too. Um, okay. See you two in a little bit. The group heads back towards the cottage. Nina looks over at me uncomfortable for a moment. She scoots towards me and sighs. That was interesting. I've seen Theo drink before, but I've never seen her step up like that. I feel like such a butt. Usually I would stick up for Theo, but I felt frozen in place. I've been going back and forth with Erica tonight. She was annoying me at times, but she's not all bad. I want to be her friend and have fun partying together. When we went out, when we went to the cottage together, she told me how she felt envious of my blue hair. She called me stylish and vibrant. That's why she was so cool towards me at first. I couldn't believe that someone as pretty as Erica would envy me. Then I did my first jello shot with her. She was enthusiastic about getting to know me once we were one on one. I started to like her. So when Theo didn't want me to drink, I felt annoyed. But when she started being rude to Theo, I froze up. How could I speak out against someone I was just so friendly with? I look, I look fake. Then you came along and told Erica exactly what I wanted. You've been so quiet, you must have thought I was a crappy friend. I don't think you're a bad friend. Honestly, it may be a good thing that you didn't speak up. Thea was right, she could speak for herself. If she wanted your help, she could have asked. It's, it's easy to say that, but I can tell Theo when Theo needs me. I don't care what she said up there. 
Kahme, she is grateful for your help. The sound of Erica laughter carries in the distance. Huh? Kind of like they might be in a better mood. Well, I'm going to save it right here, and we're going to go back, go to my Be Right Back screen for this. We need to get something real quick, so let's save, and let's go and to the main menu again. Yes, going back to the main menu, and I'm quitting for a bit, and we're going back to Be Right Back. See y'all in a bit.
Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am back, everybody. I am back. Anyways, let me go back to just chatting. Yes, so I'm back. Oh. So yeah. I'm not. I'm not really sure, but I'm thinking like after. A few, what is it? 15 more minutes of the game, we can probably go to HIO and do like try to find um, another game to play as well because that seemed like great fun too. So I'm thinking about splitting this stream like half and half. A few more, uh, what is it? Um, what is it? Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Yeah, a few more. Starlight Shore, and then probably find a game on a child because what is it? Oh my goodness. Voice acting for an hour and almost an hour and almost 30 minutes. It really does a number on your voice. It really does a huge number on your voice. So, I might just go straight away to what is it? Another game or keep it the way it is so i'm thinking about possibly changing the game i just need to find the game on itch itch.io because i know they have a good amount of games maybe even a rhythm game because that seems cool itch.io that's the place but I'm currently trying to find a game on here. Cause what is it? Browser. I know I have like, what is it, a few? Oh, I can try to like, what is it, beat the news dash thing, so. Let me go to profile. But also I need to like, what is it, change the stream thing, but. From, yes, my library. Anyways, let me go in. Change. I think I will be playing some games. Bum bana bum bum bana bana dun dun bana. Oh, and speaking of that, you if you do exclamation mark. Throne, you can basically see my throne wishes. That's essentially just what is it? S like a wish list of so of stuff. Playing itch.io games. Changing it to what is it? Itch.io. And I'm, there's no HIO thing, so I'm just putting it in just chatting. So anyways, let me see if I can find some stuff. Oh, there's like some good rhythm games. Sorry, I'm just trying to find some stuff. So let me go and find the game. We can do the. Uh, I know some of those songs are copyrighted. But, anyways, let me just go to what is it? Home. So I can find some good old games. Let me change it to the gaming screen. Let me change it to. Itch.io. There. There we 
it should be captured now. Well, hopefully stuff does not lag. But anyways, let's go under rhythm, rhythm games. I probably spelled that all wrong. Or, you know what? What's that? Hollow Live Rhythm Games. I never beat it. I want to beat it. I really want to beat the game. Let me try to find it. Not Hollow Talk. Where is it? Yes, Hollow Live EM Rhythm Games. I always want to beat this game. But it seems like I can never beat it. But today will be the day where we chat will beat this game. And we will be victorious. So, it, oh yeah, full screen. If it goes to. Yeah, I need to bring it down. Oh, crap. I forgot with like, what is it? Stuff like this. Frames just go. Dropping and dropping so much. Ugh. I, this is one thing I don't like. Because frames starts to drop a lot. But. It should be good. Okay, it should be good. But I'm just going to. I don't know the controls. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing the controls. Well, this is going to be something. I also have me stash. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to die. Great. Whoa. I died. Great. Options. I'm changing the air to up, ground, down, right, and left. Okay. So I changed this. So up, right, down, left. Whoa. I touch it. Oh, I actually let me change it back to my regular thing. I don't know how we got to it. Okay, I can do. Ah, oh, dang it! Please. Let me beat this. Let me beat this game. Oh, timer. Nope. Please, please let me win. <laughs> Ah, oh my goodness. Oh my, I can't, I can't with this game. We're finding a different one. We're finding a different game. I can't with this game, my goodness. And so many frame drops, it's literally lagging everything. I think, what is it? I might have to go and change it back to start I choose. But yeah, I'm changing it back to Starlight Shores. So, try something different and it doesn't work. Let me change, what is it, the thing back. To Starlight Shores. Let me change the title back. 
again too. It was so strong, yeah. It was so strong that it literally lagged every single thing. And that I, that, what is it? It was lagging it so bad. Well, well on Twitch studio side. Anyways. No waifus. That was the name of it before. No waifus. And then. Star. Light. Shores. Change it to what is it? Starlight. Starlight Shores. There you go. Let me add the tag. There you go. Anyways. Let's change the game so to shark Starlight Shores. There we go. Should be working now. Everything trying to recoup. Okay, we good. We good, we good, we good, we good. Wait, let me go to history. Main menu. Yes, because I need to load my saves. I forgot. I, I forgot. It's not just like for the start. Start. You need to go to like the save menus. We're back. Wait, is there, what happened to the music? What happened to the music? Okay, hold up. Are y'all hearing any music or is it like, what is it? Not working at all. Hold up. There is no music. Let me go into stuff and change it. There should be music playing. Oh, there is music playing. It's just so low. Can y'all hear the music? I'm just making sure. Okay. The music should be playing. Alright. And it's now louder than my voice. Okay. Everything's working again. It's game time. Everyone gets comfortable around the fire with smiles on their faces. Despite the tension earlier, the air feels light again. So, it's called Truth Dare a Drink, right? Yep, it's super fun. It seems like Theo is excited to play. I'm happy that things settle down. She deserves a fun night. Who wants to go first? I volunteer. That's brave of you. Not really, I picked truth. Can I pick the question? Sure, go for it. Hee <laughs> hee. I got a good one. Theo, who was your first crush? I... I pick drink. I detect a hint of embarrassment. Turn the question. But do you like chess? Yeah, chess is fine. I actually have, what is it, 5D chess? Or is it 4D chess? Yeah, I have that in my Steam library. But chess is fine. It's real. It's fine. I don't blame you for choosing drink. I would have too. My first crush turned out to be a total jerk. I'm lucky he didn't like me back. Theo smiles and nods at Lena as she takes a jello shot from the platter. Okay, Theo, you pick the next question. Alright. Hmm. Erica, true for dare. True. What did you think of Alex the first time you met? Um. Oh boy. Don't take this the wrong way, Alex. The first time I met Alec was back in high school. He was talking to a girl with a locker next to mine at the time. They were flirting and he was leaning right against my locker. When I walked up, he didn't even notice me, so I thought he was obnoxious. And he made me mad. <laughs> I remember that. 
You refused to speak to me. You poked, uh, you poked my arm. You just poked my arm and shooed me away. I should have probably been blocked. I shouldn't have, have been blocking your locker, but your reaction was adorable. Thanks. I'm glad you found it so amusing. It looks like my turn to pick someone. Lena. True for dare. Well, I like to keep things interesting, so I picked dare. Hmm, interesting, huh? I got a pretty one. I have a pretty good one for you. I dare you to kiss me. Whoop. Oh, yeah, we're getting a little spicy here. We're getting a little spicy here. CG? We're getting CG? You want me to kiss you? Are you going to drink because you're too scared? No, no, that's not the part I'm worried about. Is everyone... I don't know. Okay with this? It's not up for everyone. They're not dating me. Alec is. I guess that's a fair point. How about it, Alec? Have any problems with me kissing Lena? Uh, nope. Go for it. Perfect. We about to get some CG. About to get some CG up in here. Anyone else have an objection to this? No. None here. Looks like everyone agrees. So are you going to do it? Or are you going or are you dating someone? I'm not dating it right now. Not dating. Like you're totally avoiding it. I said dare, not true. You don't get to question me. I might as well get this over with. Okay, wait a minute. Did you pick me just because I kissed a girl before? No, no. I just picked Derek because it seemed fun. You're someone that I wouldn't mind kissing. Okay, then. Come over here. Fine. Then and Eric are stepped closer and face each other. Circle is silent, waiting to see who will make the first move. Quit breathing so fast, you're not running a marathon. Stop psyching me out. Take a deep breath. Fine. Erica breathing slowly, slows, now calmly and now calm and stern. Now just hold still. No reaches out and touches Erica's tightly clenched fist. Slowly she unfurls Erica's fingers and threads her own between them. Erica's shoulders drop as she relaxes. As Erica closes, closes her eye, Lena gently leads in. Aww, that's adorable. They're best friends. And they were roommates. Oh my goodness, they were roommates. <gasps> they were roommates. Lena kisses Erica. Is this real life? They were practically at each other's throats all night. Lena steps back and Erica opens her eyes in the daze. We stay quiet as Erica and Lena steps apart. Step apart. Despite the his usual antics, Alec is smart enough not to crack an uncomfortable joke or tease Erica. I think it's my turn to pick someone. Lena eat. Lena seems eager to keep the party going and moves past this. I can hardly blame her. She was a good sport and went along with an awkward dare. Will, true for dare. Uh-oh. I'm a save. And I'm a pick dare. Dare. I can't think of a dare that could top the last one, but you can try. Hope you're a talented guy. Why? This dare is going to take some skill. I think I know this one. You probably do. I dare you to catch two marshmallows in a row using only your mouth. I'll toss them and you do your best to catch them. No hands allowed. If you catch one marshmallow, you need to take a sip of your drink. And if I catch none of them, then you have to finish your drink and mine. I do think that dares could have so many rules. It's like an entirely separate game at this point. Maybe I should take a jello shot and be done with it. Catch some marshmallows. I'm in. Good luck. 
Thanks, I'm going to need it. I managed to catch the first marshmallow. Nice one. Now I just need to, you to toss the next one exactly like that. I'll try. She tossed the marshmallow a little higher than last time, but I leaned back in time to catch it. You did it! That was awesome! I actually managed to do that? I I guess I'm lucky tonight. I smiled and set my eyes on Alec. Now it's your turn. Alec, true for dare. I'm going for dare. You're going to wish you didn't. Bring it. I dare you to eat an uncooked hot dog. Oh, I was, ooh. Okay. 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 I, um. Come on, Alex. This one is so easy. You can't back out. Oh, uh, fine. Erica's right. It's easy. Let me give me that hot dog. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> he choked on the uncooked hot dog. He choked on me. <laughs> 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 Alex's eyes widened as he begins to panic. He's actually choking! Alec crushed his hand around his throat as he struggled to breathe. Before any of us could step in to help, Alec hacks up the hot dog and spits it into the sand. Alec, are you okay? I... I'm okay. Haha. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> you... You nearly choked to death for the time! to watch. <laughs> Alec, you make a terrible girlfriend if you can't handle a harmless hot dog. <laughs> Guys, give me a second to breathe before you start taking a run at me. Oh, come on, you're fine. If you can't survive the little hot dog, I hope you know what to do. <laughs> you know. Oh my goodness. Theo is cute when she tries to tease people. She gets so wound up and stumbles over her words. You like jazz? I guess I have a new respect for anyone who um, dates men. Yeah, we'll s I'll second that. At least you learned to back to a lesson today. I won't forget it anytime soon, that's for sure. We all laugh at ourselves for a moment. And unappetizing as that was, I think it's time for a snack break. Yes, that's a great idea. We all begin to pass around the treats Theo picked up earlier at the grocery store. Do you still want hot dogs? Hot dogs! Definitely, I'll start cooking. Alright. Did somebody say hot dogs? Count me in, I'm starving. I was just tr I was just about to make one. Are you good at, at are you any good at roasting them? Well, I wouldn't say I'm terrible at it. Then you're then you're a dozen then you're the designated chef. Will you make me one? Sure. Is Alec okay still? Oh, that's this is nice. I snatch up one of the sticks from the kindling pile. After carefully roasting them for a few minutes, I pull out the hot dogs off the stick. Here, 
Thanks. Lena and I chat idly while we scarf down our hot dogs. Maybe you should tell a ghost story around the fire. I wouldn't have told you about that if I knew you would blab. Fine. Maybe if we get a few more drinks into you, or I could dare you. Please don't. No promises. Good call on the snack break deal. Thanks. I was just, but I was just really hungry. Do you guys want to keep playing truth dare or drink? Yes. I would like to. Great. Alec, I think it's your turn to pick someone. Hmm. Who's the next victim? I pick Theo. Truth or dare? Dare. You're probably going to wish that you hadn't. The joke is on you, Alec. I'm feeling brave tonight. Well then, uh, I guess that means I can give you a good one. Theo, I dare to you to take off your sweater. You're acting to Oop. Oop. No, no. You don't get it. That sounds pretty clear to me. Erica, you kissed me tonight and Alec didn't freak and Alec didn't freak out at you. Take a minute to think before you respond. Just don't react. Butt out, Lena. Whatever. Can't say I didn't try to help. Lena is right. Erica has a pattern of dramatic outbursts. Are you interested in Theo now? Erica! Is it because I kissed Lena? Are you trying to get back at me? It's nothing like that. Give me a moment, minute to explain myself. You have one minute. Okay, here it goes. For as long as I know Theo, she is always wearing a sweater. I mean, seriously, always. Summer, winter, indoors, outdoors. She does. It doesn't matter what it's like outside. She's always wearing one on. No offense, Theo, but you inspire a bit of curiosity. Theo, is that true? Yes. I'm not taking sides here, but Alec is telling the truth. Theo wears sweaters all the time. It's true. Oh, well then. Are you going to take it off? Wait a minute. You grill at me and, and then turn around and ask her to take it off? Oh, shush. We got more important things to focus on. You still see, Erica? I said shush. So, what are you hiding underneath there? Do we get to have a pee? I, uh... Come on, Theo. What do you have to hide? I have nothing to hide. I'll do the dare. Theo seriously is going to do the dare? I don't know what she's wearing underneath. We've been drinking a lot. What if she regrets this? I'ma just sit back and enjoy the show. I say that to the wait. I have the power to go back with the click of the mouse scroll. You know what? I'm gonna encourage her, but I'm still gonna say that this part because just in case. But anyways, I'm gonna go and encourage Theo. Good for you. Don't let anyone bully in you into doing shots. I just want to look too. Not like that. I haven't seen Theo's arm for a while, but she got tattoos. That's an interesting theory. I like it. Is wearing sweaters that big of a deal? No, I was only trying to find a creative there. Please don't think I'm some, some sort of weirdo. I did want to say something interesting. Well, it was a conversation starter. Here goes nothing. Theo steps away from the group and most just rest to turn away. I love the, the music in this. I hear Theo taking deep breaths, fidgeting with her clothes. Okay, you guys can turn around. <laughs> mommy, sorry. Mommy, sorry. Mommy, okay. Theo is pretty. It's so pretty. It's weird seeing her without baggy clothes. Theo, why why don't you rock that cute satin out wait satin out top more often? You look adorable. You look great in whatever you wear, Theo. But I have to agree with Erica. Maybe you should wear that out sometime. Uh, I don't know. I'm okay with being around you guys, but 
But what? I have really... Okay. Does that matter? The, it's the one thing I hate most about myself. Theo. You shouldn't hate yourself at all. You're naturally beautiful. Who cares if you don't want to wear makeup or push-up bra? That's completely fine. Just be yourself. Be like you for who you are. Trust me. All boobs are great. Any size, any size. Okay. Don't put yourself down. Aww. Are you some sort of expert? How many boobs have you dealt with? Save your clutches for when he says truth. No one likes your constant quips, Lena. Can we please move on? Whatever. Theo starts away and pulls her sweater over her head. The fire's getting pretty low. We need more logs and maybe some kindling. Any volunteers? Not it. Typical Alec. Now they're firewood with, with Theo. We haven't talked in so long. Theo, do you want to gather firewood with me? Sure, let's go. Alright. Let's go, let's go. Theo stepped by my side and walked along the shoreline. The campfire slowly fades into the distance. I know the seaside has no light pop population. Po po uh, po uh, this is incredible. You know what? I'm just skip that part. Wow, it's beautiful out here. I'm glad you asked me to come with you. Well, being out here reminds me of camping when we were kids. My parents always sent us out to find firewood. I remember. You walked through Poison Ivy that one year. I think we were 12 years old. It burned like heck. I never, I'll never make that mistake again. I told you not to walk around it. We were having a contest. I thought you were trying to keep all the sticks for yourself. You should have listened. I know, but I did technically win. Because I dropped all of mine to get your parents. That's still a win in my book. Whatever, you win and have my peace. I hate it when you say that. It's like an escape out of any argument. I feel like I've lost when you blurted that out. That's how it was meant to work. Theo stopped to, get, stopped to gather a log from the nearby tree line. Do you need a hand with that? No, I got it. You're going to lose the contest. That's Theo's right. I've only managed to find a handful of kindling sticks. I'll find a huge piece of driftwood and drag it all the way back if I, if that what it takes to win. Driftwood? Theo steps closer and examines the sticks I've collected. Oh no, Will. You can't burn driftwood. What? Yes, I can. You're just saying that to make me lose this time. No, I'm serious. Theo points towards the tree line. I've been gathering wood from the bush from the bush because driftwood is toxic. There's too much salt in it, even if it's dried out. It makes the fire glow blue, but the fumes are dangerous. Oh crap, I had no idea. I'm sorry, that's my bad. No, don't worry. It's my fault for not buying more wood at the gas station. They were charging way too much, so I cheaped out and gathered as much as I could find, as much as I could before sunset. We probably won't find enough to keep the fire going. We don't need fire to stargaze. We don't need a bonfire on to have a bonfire on it. We can let it go out. I'll stay and watch the stars with you. I don't know. It might get cold. We can go back to the cottage and buy some blankets. I brought some beach towels. We can use them too. Really? Yeah. I don't care if they get sandy. They'll work fine when I when I swim tomorrow. I don't know if Alec and Erica would like to sit out in the cold though, even with blankets. I'm sorry that I brought Alec. You don't need to accommodate anyone. Theo, yeah, you don't need to worry about what everyone else wants. Alec and Erica can go back to the college and bug each other all night. You don't need to cater to them constantly. Take a moment to think about what you want. But what I want is for everyone to have fun. This entire trip has been incredible from the start. We don't have to worry about that. We're all having fun. You mean that? Of course I do. Why would you ask that? It's just, well, when I first invited you, it seemed like you didn't want to come. That's true. I was hesitant at first. I don't like parties. 
I won't lie, the idea of spending time away from home wasn't exciting at first. You know me, I'm a home I'm a homebody, not a party animal. But I knew it would be worth it. And it is. It has been amazing so far. How? Well, isn't it obvious? Because I get to see you. We went so long without talking. Before Erica interrupted earlier, I wanted to apologize. I should have called you sooner. There's no excuse. You deserve better and I messed up. I hope you know that I won't let it happen again. No, I'm just as guilty. Please don't apologize. I'm the one who messed up. I might have avoided answering your calls. Avoided? Why would you do that? If you kept, if you kept calling last semester, I probably wouldn't have answered. I don't understand. Yeah, what is going on? Be right back, guys, real quick. I'm just going to grab something. Listen to the nice and beautiful OST of this lovely game. So, be right back. And I am back, everyone. Let's get right back to it. I don't understand. I wish I could kind of explain this, but I can't. I was busy or distracted or whatever you want to call it. But I promise you it was for a good reason. It's not something I can share. I need you to trust me. And I know, and, and know that I would tell you if I could, but it's not my place. Can you accept that? Fine, yes. Still mad that you that you can't tell me because we were like best friends or whatever, but it's fine. Yes. Yes, of course I can. You don't owe me any sort of explanation. Yeah, you do you. Trust me. Tr I trust you, Theo. I know you wouldn't do that without any good reason. That's such a relief to hear. I know it's annoying to have a friend to... to have a friend be secretive. I trust you too, by the way. Not to say that I wasn't nervous sharing that. Well, I couldn't explain myself. Geez, I'm getting all flustered. Keeping secrets isn't my strong suit, but I knew that you would be understanding. The point is, you're a good friend. I knew we'll be able to get past this. So does this mean you're available now? Uh, available? Available for like hangouts and phone calls? Oh yeah, I am. We should do something after this weekend is over. 
Maybe we could drive home together for a visit. I know my parents are itching to see you. They've been bugging me about going home for a while now. Why did you stay in the city for the summer? Well, I can't leave Lena alone. She didn't want to go home either. I thought she was I thought she was from that area. So wouldn't you rather go to her parents' place? Lena took a job nearby a job near our place for the summer, so staying that so staying made sense. Not neither of us would want to rent out our rooms. I don't like the idea of a stranger sleeping in my bed. That might be a bit possessive of me, but that's but it's just how I feel. No, that makes sense. I stay for my job too. Are you working close to your campus? Yeah, I'm a cashier at the local pet shop. A pet shop? You don't have to worry. It's not, it's not the kind that sells animals. Just food, toys, and we also are grooming services. No, it's not that. Just an odd coincidence. Oh? Lena works at a pet shop too. Oh, so we're Wow. Could Lena be my long lost sister? She does? Yeah, she loves animals and seemed like a good fit. That's kind of cool. I have to mention that to Lena. I guess you were right. Lena and I do have a few things in common. I wasn't kidding when I said it. The more I get to know her, the more, simi the more similarities I notice. That's how I knew you two would get along. So I haven't had a chance to ask, what do you think of her? Lena's fun and outgoing. Lena's fun. Well, she seems fun. I'll be honest, I didn't expect her to go along with Erica's dare. That caught me off guard. I never known Lena to back down when, I, when challenged. I think that's why she didn't want to play the drink, play drinking games at first. She doesn't like to show her competitive side. Well, I kind of wish we weren't constantly playing games. I like to get to know her better. Maybe you should have acted together what with you. I missed a chance to bug you after all this time, as if. I gave Theo, Theo a playful nudge with my elbow. Hey, cut it out. You may be tall enough, but I can still beat you up. Theo gently nudged me back. You're a bully. I know. Theo stops and looks toward the cottage. We should get this to the fire before it goes out. Good call. Let's go. I follow Theo's lead to the bonfire. Hey guys! I crouched down to place a log in the fire. I think we found enough to keep this going for a while. Theo adds the wood she gathered to the pile. That's more than enough for the rest of the night. Are you sure? Worst case scenario, I can find more. How nice of you to volunteer after calling nodded earlier. Anytime. How was your romantic evening stroll? Theo, Theo tucked it up while I stay silent, quietly decided to ignore Erica's fishing for drama. Are we still playing games? I want to. Me too. Sure, I could play. Theo and I grab drinks and settle in with the group. I think it's my turn to pick someone. Lena, truth or dare? Truth. Okay, let's see. Lena? If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Huh? If I had to change something about myself, I would like I would want to speak my mind more. I feel like I edit my personality to please other people. That's a good answer. I do that too. She does? You do? Is it hard to is it that hard to believe? I mean, you know what, kind of. I didn't mean around you guys. When I'm at home, Erica trails off, leaving to her thoughts and said, Never mind. No, you should continue. This is a safe space, right guys? Mm-hmm. For sure. Yep. No offense, but I don't know you guys that well. I don't think I'll, I would like to talk about it. Hey, did that kiss mean nothing to you? It was only a dare. I don't go around kissing any girl who acts, you know. Whatever you say, it will stay between us. I nod in agreement. Come on, Erica. Let us get to know you better. I don't know. Lena presses a jello cup into Erica's hand. Relax and have a drink. And don't worry if you're not ready to talk about it. 
There's no real pressure. You, you pressure. You don't have to share. We're bugging you. We'll ease up. Erica looks around in the circle, meeting each of our stares with a hint of shyness. Sound. Someone sounded hurt. Hmm. Maybe. Ah, what the heck? That's the spirit. Erica takes a moment to enjoy her jello treat before continuing. Most people don't know this, but I'm the youngest of four sisters. That's a big family. I know, there's a big age gap too. My sister Anna is closest to my age, and she's five years older. And by the time my parents had me, they were pretty exhausted. They ended up getting a divorce when I was eight. Anyways, I've always been the quiet and polite daughter. I'm the baby after all. When I started my last year of high school, I decided I had enough of hiding my personality. At home, I was still the precious girl, but I needed to be free somewhere. I think that's why I love swimming. When you're underwater, no one can hear you scream. That's dark. I know. I, I know that I get kind of loud. I guess I'm not used to being able to voice my opinions. That's a quote. That I like to quote that, Lena. Me? Yeah. Erica, you're the kind, exactly the kind of energy we need at this party. I'm glad you're here tonight. <clears throat> Thanks, Theo. You're a great host. I need some water. Woo! Time stamp is 2 hours and 14 minutes. Let's keep going. Thanks, Theo. You're a great host. See, Will? I knew we'll all have fun together. That's not an excuse for being an uninvited guest, Alec. I'll leave it be. There's no sense in causing tension. You were right after all. It's my turn to pick. Hmm, Alec. True for dare. I'll go with dare. Ha. Huh. What's so funny? I dare you to bring the cooler back to back to the college. What? Why would I do that? We need more drinks from the fridge, fetch boy. Alec rumbles to himself as he thinks the strap over his shoulder. I'll be right back. Alec claps as he disappears into the darkness. Nice dare. I hope it wasn't too mean. Don't waste your time worrying. He'll be fine. It's a harmless dare. And a useful one. See? Will gets it. I'm glad none of us have to get the drinks. I don't know how about you guys, but I'm starting to feel a little wobbly. <laughs> me too. These drinks and games are getting to me. I got a good buzz going. What about you, Will? How are you feeling? I'm sober. We'll have to fix that. Oh, uh, what? I said we're going to get you drunk tonight. No, no, I don't need that. Nope. Right, girls? No. No. Uh, yeah? You can do better than that, Theo. Don't worry, I'll make sure he starts drinking. No. You will? Try to stop me. I can't imagine what Lena would seriously pressure me to drink. I think she's being playful. Your savior has arrived. Alec unzips the top of the cooler bag and takes a beer for himself. Welcome back. You got perfect timing. Now then, who's my next victim? Hmm. Theo, true for dare. I pick true. Give me your best shot. I'll answer anything. Um, that raises the stakes. I think I got one. We'll leave us hanging. Spit it, spit it us out. Uh, spit it out. Yeah, let's hear it. Theo, do you, uh, uh, freaking Alex. Oh, it's Alec. Alec, I, I promise you, if you, uh, it's not like I experimented much. But no, I don't have any. There's nothing? Yeah, uh-huh, Alec. Stop being weird. Stop being weird, Alec. No, they're not the same. Alec? You don't know what it is? Uh, we... Uh-huh, sure. Would you care to explain it then? Seem a little shaky on the subject, no offense. Is when you, uh... That was a thorough explanation. Nice one. 
I need a moment to articulate, that's all. Give her the rest, Alec. You clearly have no idea what it is. Do one of you guys feel like teaching him or should I? He's your boyfriend. You should take this opportunity. That's right. You should tell him. It might save you some trouble down the road. Good point. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. <coughs> yeah. That's a good explanation. You got it. Yeah, let's let's move on, please. We can move on, but we'll never forget. <laughs> Great. So, Theo, care to change the sub subject? I'm on it. I picked Will. True for a dare. Since the last day was actually a chore, I'll play the safe side. True. Ha. Huh. Let's see if you if I can make you regret it. Good luck. I don't think I need any. Will, what's your biggest insecurity? That's unique. I didn't think Theo would ask such a deep question. Insecurities can act and say a lot about a person. How should I enter this? Hmm. I'm gonna do physical. Mm-hmm. For me, it's my smile. What? Why? Your teeth look fine. My teeth aren't the problem. It's how I smile. Some people might call it a crooked smile, I guess. Anyways, I practice smiling in the mirror so it doesn't look too bad in photos. When I'm posed, it's alright, but if I'm laughing or smile naturally, it looks horrible. I'm sorry you feel that way. I think your smile is warm and genuine. It makes me smile back. I feel a tight-lipped grin is uh, escaping my control. Regardless of how I fight it, I find myself smiling at Theo. See, I can't help it. Neither can I. That wasn't some hollow compliment meant to cheer you up, by the way. You have, you have a great smile, I mean it. Thanks, it helps. Aw, you two are cute together. Always trying to ship people. Really? Really? Wow. I suppose my urge to roll my eyes into the back of my head. Instead, I shrug my shoulders and wait for it to continue. Do you know who? Do you know who you want to pick? Hmm. Give me a sec. Who should I pick? I'm picking Alec. I'm picking Alec. No! I can't pick Alec. No. Fine. I'll do Lena. I pick Lima. Wow, I feel special. True for dare. I'll go with true. I have had enough kissing dares for one night. Okay then. Was the last time? Was the last thing you thirst thirst alive? What's the worst thing you ever done? Lena, what's the worst thing you ever done? I'll do a shot. What? Tell us. It can't be as bad as you're imagining. I disagree. They take the jail shot from the platter and turn their attention back to the gang. My turn. Let's see. Oh, whoa, that scared the mess out of me. Whoa. Thank you for following me, Dracula. Welcome to the void. Hope you enjoyed your stay. And that nearly gave me a heart attack. Wow. Oh, my goodness. It was so silent. And then all of a sudden, you just hear a brow. Oh, my goodness. But anyways, welcome to the void. Hope you enjoy your stay here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Aww. True for dare. True. Okay, how about... If you could get plastic surgery for free, would you? And if you did, what kind of work would you get done? That's an easy one. I always had Victor did have extra fat around my stomach. It's fine, I don't mind it. But if I get plastic surgery, I'll have to suck all that <laughs> I'm putting in my boob. Your boob? Yep. Don't put it in your boob, put it in your butt. Ex excuse me? I just meant that you already had a nice and a great butt. I'm like, you have such a way of words. Can't stay for long, just want to drop in and say hi. Oh, thank you for dropping in and saying hi. 
Nice to see you around. We're currently, we're currently playing Starlight Shores, and I also was able to get React with VNGs working now, so stream's a little advanced. Every time I talk it, jump and pull up my plushie, which is great. And also I can do this. It's me, and I am Megamind now. Megamind Lumi. Megamind Lumi. <laughs> Anyways, changing it back. And woman. Do you guys mind? Oh, I'm sorry, Alec. Were they interrupting you? Did you have something you wanted to add to that thought? No, no, no I'm done. Fantastic. No waifus? Yeah, no waifus. You got no waifus? No waifus? Hmm, you have no waifus or do you? No waifus, most likely. I promise you, this protagonist hasn't touched a waifu in like, what is it? Years. It seems like the type of guy who hasn't touched a waifu in years. Anyways, Alec. True for Dare. I, uh, I picked Dare. Perfect. Perfect. I dare you to throw yourself into the sea. I can't help but burst into laughter. Iana and Theo quickly join in. <laughs> That's a great dare, Erica. Thank you. So, Alec, are you going to get moving? As tempting as I think is, I think I'll do a shot. Suit yourself. After Alec finishes his shot, he turns to Erica. I pick Erica. That's a bold move. Bring it. I don't care what you do. Give me your work. I have a feeling that Erica might describe herself as competitive. This game is spiraling into another argument. I can feel it. Erica, I dare you to finish everyone's drinks. Isn't that a bit much? I got this. Haven't you already drank quite a bit? Why don't you take a shot instead? If the other shot would be less alcohol than all of our drinks combined. I'm not backing out like Alec. Alec, change the dare. This isn't a good idea. No way, she can make her own decision. Don't be such a butthole. Yeah, don't do it. You can get really sick. Please don't do this. Quit wearing. I'll drink water when I'm done with there. It's your funeral. Yeah, she really is her funeral. Erica makes her way to each of us and finishes what's left of our drinks. Hand it over, Alec. Enjoy. See? It isn't bad. I love coolers. Uh-huh. Are you sure? I got this far. I'm not stopping now. Okay. Alright, Will. It's your turn. Here we. Here you go. Lucky for her, my drink was nearly empty. See, I did it. Let's get you some water. That's a good idea. Those drinks are going to hit you fast. Yeah, come back to the cottage with us. If you insist. That was a pretty good dare ride. Uh, uh, I'm gonna just save and hopefully I make the right decision. What are you trying to prove? Alec, what's going on? What do you mean? Come on, be real with me. These mean comments and dumb dare, it's not like you. When you're around Erica, you get this weird attitude. It's destructive. What, are you some kind of relationship expert? I don't need you to analyze me, thanks. I'm not trying to analyze. I'm concerned. Mind your own business. It becomes my business when you and Erica becomes everyone else's problem. You have a problem with me? Yeah, that attitude right there. I suggest you lose it or hit the road. I'll be out of here. Oh, uh, I'm gonna go back. Was it history? Not history. Was it load? Let me just go back to the choices. Say nothing. I know where Alex Terry is just bragging. He can be an idiot on his own. He doesn't need a cheering squad. I know Alex mood. He's not going to listen to any advice I give him anyway. What are you giving? What, are you giving me the silent treatment? There's nothing left to say. Maybe calling him a moron? I mean, that wouldn't do me any favors. Oh, no. Um, maybe that wasn't the good idea. Maybe. 
Uh, all of these options are bad. All of these are bad. Oh, I didn't expect her to actually do it. Well, she did. That's not my fault. Don't act so innocent. You had no idea how she could react and you did it anyway. How could you consider da daring your girlfriend to do that? You're an idiot. Well, I... I don't know what to tell you. I've been drinking and made a sub stupid dare. I want Erica to back down and do a jello hell like I did. There are no winners in true for dear Alan. Are you that competitive about a stupid drinking game? She brings that side out of me, I guess. Maybe you shouldn't contemplate that. Maybe you should contemplate why that is. You dummy. The whole thing seems like a bad idea. Yeah, every option is always bad, but at least, what is it? This one right here, what is it? It seems fine, but the other ones, you just get mad at me, or. I, I just want I'm, I'm trying to pick the good stuff, so I'm just choosing this one because when I chose the last option, all of them seemed like they were going to end up terrible in the end. No, don't belittle him. He's not productive. He won't learn anything if I'm being a jerk. Alec? Yeah? I know your relationship is none of my business, but can I ask you a question just between you and me? I don't know. I swear, however you answer, it will stay between us. Fine, ask whatever you want. It seems like you're making more than an occasional slip-ups around Erica. What you said about her body was rude and downright mean. Are you intentionally sabotaging, sabotaging your relationship? How can you ask that? Well, what am I supposed to think? You're not acting normal. Your behavior, this behavior is weird. Maybe you shouldn't try to be psychoanalytic of my relationship. Look, I'm not trying to attack you here. I'm just trying to help you out. You want you want to be with Erica, right? I don't know. You don't know? How can I? We've been dating for for all of five minutes and you we've been dating for all of five minutes and you made it pretty clear how you feel about her. Okay, I might have been unwelcoming. That wasn't fair of me. But you're selling yourself up for failure again. This year you've been this year you've had a revolving door around of girlfriends and around this time you usually end things. What's with this pattern? Leave it be. He doesn't trust me enough to talk about this. This kinda sucks. I thought we were closer. Like Alex acts, I leave it be. A heavy blanket of silence weighs down on us as we stare at our phone to avoid making eye contact. Uh, Alex? What's up? Your girlfriend isn't feeling well. Big surprise. What's wrong? He gave her water and, and warned her to sip it slowly. She ignored this and chugged the entire bottle. Smart move. Yeah, it's not the greatest idea. It didn't sit well she's been puking her guts up. Theo's is playing nurse, but Erica isn't the most willing patient. She should go to the cottage and lend a hand. Frick. Theo didn't say anything, but I could tell she's bummed out. Oh no. We should go help Riley. There's not much we can do at this point. Theo will come back eventually, I'm sure. She doesn't have to babysit Erica. That's not her job. Yeah, but she won't see it like that. You won't have any luck getting her away from Erica. She's doing everything she can to comfort her. Huh, I remember her being like that when I caught the flu as a kid. She's a great nurse. I swear, she's immune to watching people puke. It doesn't faze her at all. I can't handle seeing that. I must okay. Me too, it sucks. Even though all of even though the even the thought of it makes me feel sick. Uh let's change the top topic. Agreed. Nina takes a seat beside me, closer than before. Best to cut your losses and swim away. Yep. Mm-hmm. Maybe we could keep playing. I thought you hated drinking games. They're not bad when I'm with the with the crowd. Okay, I'll buy it. True for dare. Dare. I'll be risky. Dare. Good. I hate to snuggle a little closer. You what? I'm getting kind of cold. I find myself wondering how that could possibly be true. With the humidity and being near the fire, I can't imagine her feeling silly. They seem tireless, so I relent. 
Come on over. Nina shuffles over a touch. I wrap my arm around her. She rests her head against my shoulder and settles in. Thanks. This is nice. Happy to help. We watch the waves slap at the shore. Despite the damp temp the the damp and night air, I'm comfortable with Lena's warmth. Gosh, I we can't leave you alone for two minutes, can we, Will? Always making a move. Erica, wait up. We should get we should get we should get going. What, do you want to get coffee somewhere? Alec, that's a bad idea. You've been drinking. I'm not an idiot, I'm fine. I'm one of these mid breathers in my car. I'll make sure I'm okay to drive. Please, we have the room. I want you to stay. No, we should be going. We just end up keeping the bathroom to ourselves all night. Life points towards your bucket behind the log. I know that's meant to put out the fire, but can we borrow it? Erica will probably need it for the ride home. The sudden realization of what Alec, gets, Alec says to Erica. You want to leave right now? We need to get you home. I don't want to sit in the car for hours. I want to stay and party. You can't drink anymore. I can still have fun. I'm not leaving. Please, Erica. We had enough fun for one night. You're the ho you're the one who dared me to drink, and now you want to leave? You're a butthole. You're right. It was wrong of me. I'm sorry, Erica. Let's go home. Let me fix this. You can take a hot shower when we get back, and I can make you breakfast in the morning. Our weekend together doesn't need to end, but we need to go home. I don't want to leave. You guys should stay here. It's better to get home and deal with the hangover there. Otherwise, we'll be stuck here all day tomorrow. Please, Alec, I want to stay. Don't, don't cry. I can cry if I freaking want to. Well there, let's slow this down. It won't matter. You can't change his mind. When Alex decides something, no one gets gets to say. He's going to make me leave. That's not true. You know it is. Why don't you prove her wrong and stay the night? You're not the one you're not the one who has to deal with this. This I'm a person. A person that spent the past a half hour puking her guts out. Come on, Erica. Going home makes sense, you know it. It's not fair, Alec. You're the one who dared me to drink. And you're the one that drank. I didn't pour the booze down your throat. Are you serious, Alec? Give her a break. You were being a butt an entire night. I'd be drinking too if I were her. I'm not denying that, thanks, by the way. If anything, we need to leave, the, leave to deal with what came up tonight. Which is why we'll be seeing ourselves out. We both know this is the best hand we know this is best handled without an audience. Aren't you breaking up with me? What what? Not like that. I wasn't you're going to. That's not true. I want to talk privately, that's all. Please, Erica, we need to go. Erica points towards the book of silence, tears glimmering in the light as they trace her cheeks. Thank you. Alex inspects the bucket and hands it to Erica. Just step out the sand before you get in the car. Erica steps away to empty it. Then, do you have another way, Theo? Do you have another way to, to put the fire out? Wow, I, I am mad at Alec. I'm so mad. Oh, we were having such fun, and then he ruined it. The distant splashing of water silences the group. Oh. What? Erica holds the bucket over the flame, threatening to spill its contents and extinguish the fire. What are you doing? Erica ignores the yell as she, her tears glisten in the flickering light. You're ruining everything. Stop. You think that's all I'm good for, Alec? Well, you're right. I ruin everything. Erica, please, please, Erica, that's not true. If we're leaving, this party's over. 
Her eyes briefly meet Alex, waiting for him to agree to stay. Dang! This guy! This guy! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I hate him! I hate him! Alex says nothing. <laughs> Say something, you fool! It has sand in it. No! Oh wait, it's actually water, never mind. But still, without a word, Erica turns and leaves. Alex follows her in silence. Why, why would she? Theo, are you alright? I don't think we wanted to have fun. I'm sorry that, that I made you guys come here. Theo, you have nothing to apologize for. What Erica did was pathetic. I knew I should have let her. Would you give it a rest? This isn't what Theo needs to hear right now. Lena's right. I shouldn't make this about me. Maybe we could try to get the fire going. There's no point. The embers are soaked. I didn't buy enough wood to rebuild the fire. I could walk to the gas station. I don't mind. I'll go buy more. No, don't. I want to go to bed now. I don't want enough bull crap for one night. Lena shifts her feet nervously. Nearly as surprised as I have heard Theo use that kind of language. Theo. Before Lena could finish, Theo shakes her head. Don't. This is sad. This just got sad. Oh. Stop Theo or let her go. Oh my goodness. I, I don't know. I say stop Theo. You know what? I'm gonna just let her go. But let me save. But I know I'm saving this, but. I want to feel like I'm in the actual situation, so I'm going to just let her go. I say nothing as Theo disappears into the night. You're not going- You know what? This is a game, for Pete's sake. I can go and reload the game and unload it if I want to. <laughs> Stop, Theo. Theo, please don't go. And I call out for her. Theo freezes midway, mid-step. What do you want? We have a meteor shower to get to. Not tonight, Will. Please don't let it end like this. The desperation in my wavering voice is obvious. There's no point in trying to hide it. Walking with you earlier, it was nice. I miss spending time with you. I don't want you to go yet. The night's not over yet. Maybe we could watch the stars together? I don't know. I, it's been a long night. And it's been a long live stream. We're almost hitting three hours. It wouldn't... Would it help if you took your mind off the game for a bit and played something else? Yeah, that would be great, but I think we're almost at the end of, uh, what is it, this game. Maybe, like, what is it? In a few, we could, like, go and try to find another game or just chat and whatnot. But I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. But, yeah, so, yeah. So yeah, I might, I think we could finish this game, almost, or or if it hits the three hour mark, I think I'm just going to call it quits. But yeah, I'm good, I just want to finish this game. You said you wanted to make a wish, let's go make one together. Please, Theo, do it for me, it's my birthday weekend, remember? Theo pauses for a moment, carefully considering my request. Alright. I can stream the earth to bounce up and down and celebrate and as Theo comes back with me. I'm sorry, Lena. I should have stormed off before you had a chance to finish your sentence. Quit worrying about everyone else. You two have fun you two have fun shoot have shooting stars to look at. You're coming with us, right? 
Nope. Why not? I have a reser I reservation with that rainfall shower. I need to relax and super up before I hit the hay. Don't expect any hot water when you get back. Suit yourself. You'll be missing out. Sure, I'll survive. I'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Will? What's up? I don't want to waste another minute. Let's go. I nod and return her smile. Lead the way. I follow Thea along the shoreline, staying close by her side. We wander for a time before settling near the shore. I wait for Theo to take a seat, but she stays standing. Thanks for convincing me to stay. I didn't want you to miss out. I know you've been wanting to stargaze all night. I have. Now that we are now that we're here, I'm nervous. Is there some is there something wrong? I've been wanting to make I want I've been wanting to make my wish, but I can't seem to get the timing right. I haven't seen any shooting stars that light up the sky. The kind of star that make that you make an important wish on. What's your wish? You know I can't tell you, but you can I I'll tell you about my wish. Do it at your own risk. I'm going to wish that you'll forgive me. Forgive you? For being so dumb. Not just for today when I forgot that iced tea. I was an idiot for not calling you. It's my fault too, you know. We both avoided reconnecting. Well, maybe it was a dumb. Maybe well, maybe it was dumb of you to stop calling too. You're right. It was. Our friendship isn't something disposable. I never intended to fall out of touch, but I was just taking you for granted. I figure we could go forever without call. I figure I could go forever without calling you. I think we'll fall back to place effortly. But that's not fair. I should have maintained our friendship, and I will from now on. You're an important person in my life, Theo. Oh, I don't want this weekend to end. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I don't want you to go. It sounds like we're afraid of the same thing. It's embarrassing to admit, but I was scared to call you last week. I had to make up a reason to call you before your birthday. I missed you so badly. You know I didn't win. You know I didn't win a giveaway, right? Wait, what? She did this for Will? Oh. oh. How could? What do you mean? How are we here? There's no radio contest. There was no radio contest or friendex page. I saw it advertised online, and I rented it for the weekend with my savings. Seems like a good excuse to spend the weekend together, especially if, especially so close to your birthday. That's what Lena meant when she said that Theo picked the perfect place. That was a slip up. Lena, you, Lena knows you paid for this. Yes. Theo, I knew you react badly. I shouldn't have said anything. No, I appreciate your honesty. I'm just a little shocked. I'm not sure what to say. Maybe that's okay. I prefer you not to say anything, so I won't have to feel even more guilty. Guilty? Honestly, there's not much I wouldn't have done to see you again. Are you sure we shouldn't talk about this? It's out there now. That's all I wanted. I know I'm repeating myself when I say this. I miss you a lot. I miss you too. By the way, I meant to ask. Are you okay with what, with what happened? You're talking about Erica? Yes. I'm not going to get hung up over it on it. I hope she's alright. No offense, but I hope she finds a better boyfriend. Or better yet, they could both do the break from dating to work on themselves. Nobody's perfect and I don't like to judge. But growing and learning without a partner could do them both some good. Nodding, I nod in agreement. I'm thinking out loud. I hope that's okay. It's more than okay. I'm glad you trust me. I'm not. I'm not pleased that Alex decided to drive home. He didn't drink much. I'm sure he wasn't impaired. I know he has those breather. What is it? Whatever you call it in his car. Still, it doesn't sit well with me. 
As much as I'm relieved that they're gone, we would like them to crash here with us. I get it. I've had enough of them for one night. I'll be grateful. I'm. I'll be grateful that it's over with. I'm happy that we're here, no matter how we got to this point. That's more like the Theo I remember. Strong and focused on positivity. Not to say that Theo ignores her negative emotions or experiences. It's that she handles them with poise. Yes, she completely does. You're a good person, you know that. You really are. That's easy for you to say. You're not in, you're not in my head. I, maybe I managed to trick you into thinking that. Well, you're bewitching. Well. That was a terrible line. You're welcome. <laughs> you know there's nothing to forgive, right? Huh? You said you're with that I'll forgive you. You already got my forgiveness, so don't waste your wish on that. Now I got to think of another one? Yep, get working on it. Any suggestions? Your wish should be a desire or hope that's close to your heart. A wish for something that you believe could happen but feels too difficult to achieve on your own. We all use a little magic in our lives. What comes to m what what comes to mind says my heart racing? It's now or never, Will. Axe her out already. We all know you're going to do that, Will. Axe her out. Axe her out, Will. I decided to ask myself, do I love the- Yes, you do. You do. You do. You do, you idiot. I got one. I'm ready. Let's wait and watch. As I look towards the sky, I'm waiting for a path to start. My heart beats incredibly- My heart beats increasingly against my ribs. Theo? Yes? You- I can't hesitate this time. She deserves to know. I don't want to waste your time. You're my wish. I am? Yes. That's funny. Funny? She was your wish! Her wish was you! Wow! That's what I'm predicting. Her wish was you! I, I continue, unsure of what she means. Let me take you out on a proper date, please. We go and have fun, have a fun night together, away from friends and dramatics. Are you sure about that? I doubt Alec will follow me around a second time. You know what I meant. Why wouldn't I be sure about this wish? Why not someone closer to your campus or prettier or smarter? None of those imaginary dates matter. They don't measure up. Why? They're not you. Theo giggles to herself softly. What's so funny about my wish? It's funny because you were mine. I knew what I called it. See, I'm the matchmaker. I am the matchmaker. Lumi, the matchmaker. That's me. I'm the matchmaker. Let's go. They love each other. I predicted this. Let's go. Happy. From the moment this weekend started, you were my wish too. I wished for time together as much as I could get. Well, don't wish your t wish then. What should I ask for instead? Anything you want. I'll take you up on that date if you consider my wish too. Wish away. Would you mind kissing me? Let's go! Let's go! I reach out to her reflectively. Let's freaking go! Woo! Thea steps forward and wraps her arms around me without a moment of hesitation. Woo! They're gonna kiss! Oh! That's so cute! The first time since we left school, I feel whole. I don't know where I'm going to end up in life, but I will. But it will always be beside Theo. Oh, she was the missing piece. Oh, this is too cute. Oh my goodness, I love this. I love it. And it's over. Wait, we beat the game. We beat the game, guys. We beat the game. Whoa. Yo, we beat it. Woo, that was a nice game. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love that. That was adorable. The game was amazing. Thank you so much to the, I have to give a shout out to the developer. 
thank you so much for gifting me this game. It was a nice and incredible game. I loved every second of it. I loved the themes. I loved the art. I loved everything about it. And this was a nice story. A nice story. It was beautiful. Thank you so much. This is adorable. This is amazing. Thank you so much. This was incredible. And chat, that it will be the end of the live stream. Let's go try to rate somebody. Let's see who's who's currently live still. But that was just it was amazing. I can't believe it. That was an amazing game. And it was very nice. And I just loved every part of it. So yeah, let's try to find someone to raid. So, hmm, what should the raid message be while I try to look for someone to raid? I'm not really sure what it could be. So I want it to be something funny for sure. But yeah. Hmm, I wonder what the raid message could be. What could it be? Let me see who's currently live. Oh, my friend Flood is live. Let's go raid him. Yeah, for, for Flood. The last Flood under, he's live. Let's go and raid him. But the raid message is first, it's going to be. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just putting Cupid Lumi. No. Hmm. What should the raid message be? I honestly have no idea. Starlight Shuri. Starlight. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it could be. S hmm. I want to think of something funny that happened. No, I'm just putting Alex sucks. Nah. You know what I'm putting? Alec? Alec versus Lumi. I'm putting Alec versus Lumi. And so yeah, that's the rain message. Alec versus Lumi. You can use any... Wait, no. No, I have a better thing. I just realized it. No waifus. No waifus. That is going to be the rain message. No waifus. Finally got it. Yeah, no waifus. So I'm currently putting the rain message in the chat. So here it is. So let's go raid my friend Floods slash raid. Last underscore blood underscore hunter. So yeah, we raid the last blood hunter. The raid message is no waifus. Hope you enjoyed the stream, everybody, and I'll see y'all all next time. Bye-bye.